Um, alrighty, YouTube, it's, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, it's, uh, 7.52 Eastern Time on Christmas Day, uh, p.m. anyways, um, would I do a video, um, if I got anything for Christmas, uh, uh, I, I did get some books and I got some currency, but I didn't get any silver, um, I might buy some silver, probably like this eagle, probably some more junk, uh, yeah, probably at least, an, at least an ounce and a half worth of bullion, probably a half ounce of junk or so. Um, but uh, I'll probably wait a few days before I do that. Uh, anyway, um, first thing, uh, I got the Case for Gold by uh, Ron Paul. It's a great book, it talks about gold. Uh, I'll kind of read you the back here, it says... Uh, Paul blamed the Federal Reserve for inflation and spoke against the banking uh, mismanagement that resulted in the savings and loan crisis. The U.S. Gold Commission, created by Congress in 1982, was his idea, and this marvelous commission minority report was the great result. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's actually, I read the first couple pages, and it seemed actually pretty interesting. Uh, this one's called The uh, Silver Bomb. It's a uh, the end of paper wealth is upon us. Um, uh, it's a crash. I can read that. Uh, Some of them crash course in reality. Note that the reality is so cold that is uh, spoon fed to comfortably non populist buyer bought and paid for mainstream media, but rather an accurate assessment of many of the imminent threats currently arrayed against the largely unsuspecting public. We are in trouble. That is one overarching message of the silver bomb. Two key points: if you do, if you can't touch it, you don't own it. Fiscal assets must be in your possession in order to be considered safe in this trying and turbulent economic environment. And now is already past the moment for action. When the balloon goes up. The time to prepare will be over. Take what little time is left to learn the facts rapidly and make haste to finalize whatever preparation you came before the bomb goes off. The silver bomb, that is. Need to know. It's absolutely need to know information. Time to prepare is almost at an end. Arm yourself with the knowledge contained in this book. Uh, make haste and may uh, make good speed. This. So, so that that one is actually pretty interesting too. It's a lot of like information about like what's going on and that why you should buy silver. You know, uh, I am writing my actually writing my own book similar to this, but it's kind of my own ideas so with some of the reality facts that I know of. Uh, this goes into a lot more depth of the reality stuff, but more into the why you should own it type of deal. Um, anyway. So, currency, um, Australian $5 bill. It's the reverse. Hold on, let me just, there we go. So, watermark, I don't know if there's a watermark on here or not. Yeah, it's kind of like an old crane there. Um, oh, yeah, that's like the symbol of the Australian, like, monetary authority or whatever, I think. So yeah, five dollar bill, Australian. And we got um, two reales from Brazil. Oh, is it been now? Oh, it's yeah, it's the right way. It's a turtle, dos reales. I think it's Portuguese. I think they speak in Brazil. Yeah, there's a little turtle there. Um, so we got the five reales. Crane there, and I think this is a flag. It almost looks like I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like the flag of Brazil. That's weird. Um, yeah, no security threads or anything on these guys. Um, and South African ten rand. The rhinoceros on there. Um, I'm. Missing the 20 and the 200 rand. Might get the 20. I don't know about the 200 rand. 
It's like 20 bucks. But I found it in like uncirculated condition from a collector's website. It's going to cost me at least 40 or 50. I'm um, just saying. So, might hold off on that. I'm not sure. These, these are all like uncirculated. Especially these uh, South African notes are best condition. So 50 Rand with the Lion. Um, it's about 10 Rand to the dollar. Not sure what the conversion rate on the realities are, but I know the Australian, I think it's 1 to 1 for Australian to US. Um, so yeah, um, this is the 100 Rand. Um, yeah. And then if you can kind of see here, let me just, if you notice, each note is slightly bigger than the next one. I kind of like that. So then, like, I know in Amer here in America, it's like, the bills are all the same size. You could take, a like, a $5 bill and, like, bleach it out and print a $100 bill on that. But you couldn't do that in, like, some of these other countries because the bill is obviously a lot larger. You know, it's at least extra at least 10% larger 20% larger um, than the next highest bill uh, I'm pretty sure the reales are also the same way no they're the same size yeah reales are look to be the same size I believe yeah yeah if you, if you see the yeah, they're pretty much the same size um, I'm pretty sure Australian money is kind of the same way, but I only have the one five dollar note. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been money fifty four. Signed off. Uh, new video coming up of the entire silver stack. Uh, so uh, paper money fifty four. Signed off.